What up you guys? You're probably wondering what am I doing on yet another trip? Well, we're here in Las Vegas and when I say we, ta-da! I brought wifey on this trip. Bit of a vacation slash. I got some epic videos for you guys, so stick around because our first stop is of course my boy Houston at Royalty Exotics. Oh, and we are back. Wikey's never been here. What do you think? All the fancy cars lined up. Which way should we take? I have a surprise for you. I have a surprise for Wifey. She's never been in this car. And this is like, we we're gonna do the Bugatti, but the Bugatti is not ready. Let's just put it that way. But uh, this is gonna be the next best thing to a hypercar. It's got hypercar performance. It's actually got the better doors. You guys are probably taking guesses already. I'm not gonna tell you, but let's go in, check in, say hi to the crew, and you'll find out soon enough. There's the infamous Bugatti, babe. Famous car. <laughs> it is a famous car. The owner is more famous. You guys missed the bug? Boom, 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 boom. Mario! What up, bro? How you doing, homie? Doing well, doing well. Good to well. see you. You guys staying out of trouble here or what? We're trying to stay in trouble. Okay. I love it. Trying to stay in trouble. I love it. Tony, how are you doing, homie? Doing well, how are you? Say hi to everybody. How's everybody doing? Everybody misses you guys. We miss you. I know. How's everything going, man? It's been phenomenal. Good. Just been, you know, Saw that nail you grinding. Caught. What's that? Saw that nail you caught. Oh, yeah. Guys, you don't know, last night, Wifey and I were uh, packing, getting ready to, you know, make our trip out here. Our flights are super early in the morning, bro. <laughs> And on the way home from dinner, like late, when we didn't have anything else planned to do, except for pack our shit and go to bed, we got a huge nail in uh, the Range Rover tire, and we're scrambling last night where to put it because it was inevitably gonna go flat while we were gone for our trip. Of course. But our friends at Fountain Tire hooked it up, so we're good, we're good. Okay, so check this out. When you come here and you rent a car, they have something that's like the extra in like insurance, right? And like anybody, pe some people are like skeptical about whether or not they need it. And so Houston had this brilliant idea of covering <laughs> that wall in what can happen if you don't get the insurance. Is that good or what? Yes. Now ask yourself this, if you were renting a supercar and you had to even question whether or not they get the extra insurance, would this change your mind? All the major crashes from royalty cars, look at this. Look at this one. This one's got a pole right through it. Wheel damage, cars smashed and destroyed, and even as far as being completely toasted with a fire. So, yeah. I don't think you have to question whether or not to spend the extra 150 or 200 bucks or whatever it is to get the insurance. Get the insurance. So she doesn't know we're taking a McLaren 720S. Hey. It's like hypercar performance. Oh, Doors go up. It's gonna be epic. Yeah. So this is where you come in. You fill it out all your information. They give you the keys. They run you around the vehicle and go over everything in the car. They'll show you how it how it all functions. So you guys got to get here and rent some cars this summer because I'm telling you, this is the hands down best experience you're ever gonna get in your life if you're a lover, car lover like I am. Pow, submitted. Okay guys, look who is back in the vlogs. What's up guys? Houston, my man, is hooking it up today. Uh, wifey doesn't get to spend a lot of time in any of my cars, but she has been in Ferraris, Lamborghinis, but she has never been in a hypercar or anything remotely close to what that. What about a McLaren? Never. Okay, so first start, McLaren. 720S, hypercar performance in non-hypercar uh, expenses. Absolutely. Amazing car. And uh, which one of the two cars am I getting? Papaya Spark, Papaya Spark, Papaya Spark. So brand new Papaya Spark. Brand new Papaya Spark. And I thought it'd be a really good idea for her to experience what that car can do for $350,000 because it's extremely exciting. And also, when she goes into this one next, she's going to understand her mind is going to be blown beyond belief. Absolutely. But she'll feel the difference because from a Huracan to this, it's like a bicycle to a jet bike, you know? Absolutely. So I think the McLaren's a great start and I'm excited to see what she thinks. And if she likes it, I can afford this one. <laughs> I cannot afford that one. So, yeah. hey, thank you for hooking it up. It is Father's Day. 
So you guys, we wanted to say shout out to all the fathers that watch on the channel. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Both Yusuf and I are dads. He's going stove shopping, so you're not gonna see him for the rest of the vlog. I'm gonna take wifey in the 720 and let's see what kind of reaction we can get out of her. She's not a screamer, but I hope I can make her scream. So we're taking that orange McLaren 720S. It's called Papaya Spark, not orange. Perfect. You ready for this? Yes. Let's do this. Handles on the inside, and you get the... Bad It is bad Do you like it? Yeah, it's different. I can't wait to see what your impression of this is compared to what we've always had, because we've had the Ferrari and the Lamborghini, but we have never owned a McLaren. No. So, we'll jump in, okay. and we'll hit the streets. You got it? Come on, muscles. So here we are in the McLaren 720S. First impressions, what do you think? I love it, I love the color. It's a beautiful color. And uh, cockpit design. It's cool, I didn't realize that the dash actually moved. Yeah, the dash does move. It does this, uh, it kind of goes in when it's in race mode, I'll show you in a minute. Yeah. And lots of room, right? Yeah, it's I mean, not bad, I mean it's super comfortable. It is comfortable. This has enough room too for luggage in the front, unlike the Huracan. So yeah. guys, let me know in the comments below. So far, wifey's like, you need to buy me one of these. <laughs> now, buying her one is one thing. Buying one for DDE is another. Do you guys think a 720S would be a good car for DDE? Is it something you would enjoy? <laughs> is it something you would enjoy having on the channel and something that we could play with and modify? That is my only concern. Could we do enough stuff to this to make it interesting and it not just be another run of the mill 720? I know it sounds weird that I say that, but everything on DD has to be special. Car's warmed up, seat belt on. These seats are actually um, much more comfortable than your car. They are, they are definitely more comfortable. And they've got orange seat belts here, which are just super bad. So guys, hang on, we're gonna take Wifey for a little ride. Nervous. Don't be nervous. Your man's got you. All right, a little tour of the Las Vegas Strip. So another cool feature, Wifey, is you can shift gears up and down using one paddle in this car. So like, look, I have just my hand on the left side. I can go down a gear or I can go up a gear by pushing forward and vice versa with, our, with the opposite paddle. So thoughts on that? Kind of a neat feature. It's literally like the perfect car for a vlogger. <laughs> one hand driving, one hand on the camera. I don't have one hand on the camera. <laughs> don't tell the secret. All right, wifey. Tunnel blast, you ready for this? And we gotta do the official windows down for the tunnel blast. This is where the McLaren shifting with one paddle comes in really handy. She's lying. She's hanging on for dear life. <laughs> Woo! You having fun? Yeah. Yeah, you are. My girls, she likes to ride. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give it a little bit of gas. You can tell me what the power is like. I'm literally gonna like just hammer the gas. Okay, you ready? It's also very slick here and it's very hot. Uh, even a 720S with all its traction control, I don't know if it's gonna hook up. <laughs> what do you think? It's just got sweaty there. <laughs> in there. 
wifey shopping. It uh, it's fun, but it comes at a cost. You shop in there Don't way more me out. than I do. Don't wrap me out. I am overdue for a shop. Oh, oh! This trip sounds like it just got a little more expensive. Yeah, that means I'm buying something. Get a Caesar. A Caesar? Hey, for all my American friends, if you don't know what she's talking about, she's not talking about a Caesar salad. <laughs> we have a drink in Canada called, it's an alcoholic beverage. It's pretty much like a Bloody Mary, except for we have something called Clamato juice. It's made by a company uh, called Mott's. And it sounds disgusting when you say it out loud like this, even when I say it. It's clam juice and <laughs> tomato juice like mixed together. We supplement out tomato juice for that, and it's called a Caesar. Anyhow, they don't serve them anywhere in the United States, but here in Las Vegas or closer to the border of Canada, uh, this is as far south of, as that I've ever been able to find a true Caesar, and they have them at the little bar in the forum shops. And they're probably one of the best ones I've ever had anywhere. They even beat out all the Caesars I've ever had in Canada. Really? Yep. Didn't so we're Dave going to get, get bombed. wasted there last time? Yeah, I took Dave there <laughs> because they do 10 ounces in one drink if you want. We got bombed. We got bombed. <laughs> that didn't make it into the vlog. That's in the outtakes. What's that? Is that a balloon? I don't know. Guys, we're looking at like a gold shiny object floating through the sky. It's a UFO. We're in Nevada. Area 51. Oh, it, it's just a, a giant gold. It's a o. giant giant gold, yeah. Zero or O <laughs> balloon. In Somebody's the sky. like dirty 30 birthday and they lost the zero. Now they're only a three. <laughs> They're probably so drunk, they're acting three. Here we go. Here we go. We're exiting, we're exiting. Ooh, you feel oh. it step out there a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> like that. Oh. Hey. <laughs> you trust so your man. we can purposely slide it now. Purposely we slide it. We can purposely slide it, baby. You trust me? sponsors to go and do gumball and cover it all for you guys come and meet all of you european 
gumballers, which I, I'm assuming European, they always start in Europe, I don't know where it will end. This year is London to Tokyo. And I will bring Wifey, and you will come out and meet Wifey and I, and whatever car we're in, whatever car will be the next 3.0 Tire Slayer, maybe it's the Huracan still completely done the way I have in my head, or maybe it is... Maybe it's my car. Oh, yeah. oh, it's already, it's, oh, oh, it's already official. The 720, if we get it, is, is Wifey's car. Maybe it'll be a 720, but drop a comment and let me know what you guys think. I'm having fun in this thing. Listen, I got it. Here, we'll turn her off. I know where we are now. Nothing like, nothing like having a female voice coming from your crotch. Jeez, that's, that's not my wife's. Whoa! Your jokes are so bad. My jokes are bad, guys. You guys know that. Okay, we're going to head back to Royalty Exotics. Thank you so much to Houston for giving us the car. And we are back. Looks like a lot of the slingshots were out and coming back right now. Yeah. Turn this puppy off. So, quick, let me hold that properly. Quick recap. You have a good time? I had a great time. We're buying one of these? Yeah. There you guys have it. I gotta save some money because these are expensive. Okay, that's the window. There you yeah. go. The doors are the best, aren't they? They are. I love them. A little McLaren. Oh, oh, oh. oh I wouldn't want to give it back either. Oh. The wife says I have to buy it. Mm. I'm not First even time? joking. In, in the 720S, yeah. yeah. Gets the heart rate up a little bit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Gets the wallet rate up a little bit. Yeah. Bye bye to royalty for now. We will be back a little later. Time to go hit a pool. So we have a suite on the 51st floor, which I'm excited about. Panoramic suite. Biggest perk to a washroom for myself or a, a restroom is a shower that fits me because I am six foot 235. Dual sinks so the wife and I don't have to argue when getting ready. Look at this. Okay. Guys, look at the bed. Whoa! And then look, at, we got like a whole living room space, which is pretty cool. Not too shabby. Look at that view. We got strip view. So you can see we're in the Encore, you guys. That is the other tower, the original tower, the win. And then we can see that's the Vegas Strip right there all the way down. Cheers, babe. What up, you guys? Drinks now. We're at uh, a restaurant called Jardines. They got the pool side, outside. It's a bit windy. Got some food on the way. I'll show it to you in a sec. Food blog. Wild berry spritzer. Amazing. Tuna, yes. Kale salad. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh wow, guys, big eye tuna right here. That's what it's all about. Okay, let's find out where the swim up bar pool is. We need towels. We have officially made it into the pool. Unfortunately, I gotta have to end the vlog because we need to spend a little time alone without the camera. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Hey, we had a banger video today. So you guys, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Throw us a thumbs up on the video. Wifey said, make sure to share this video. And I, th I th share the video. And uh, I think she's talking me into a 720S. So drop a comment. What do you guys think about 720s for the dd vlogs but until tomorrow we love you guys we'll see you in the next video peace